Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here and welcome or welcome back to a YouTube video on the channel and today guys I'm going to be going over the team that could potentially win the AFL Premiership in 2023. Now I do really feel like it is about time for this AFL club to win a Premiership considering the position they are currently in. So let's go ahead and hop right into things. Alright, so this is why they, well, really should contend next year for a premiership. Their list is really in sublime and great shape, really in a quality place. They really do have a quality list. They are stacked and packed in all areas of the ground, but especially in the midfield. Their midfield slash motor room is absolutely humming right now. They are going to be very tough to stop next year because they've got so many good players in there. They've got some youth. They've got some experience. They've got a Brownlow medalist in there. Oh my goodness, it is a very scary midfield, and they can all kick goals as well, respectfully. They have been around this place for a while, last couple of years they've been contending and doing quite well in form, especially in 2022, when they really did get going and really motor into a prelim final. Um, they, ha they, they haven't showed class. The Gabba can be a real fortress, I feel like. They didn't quite make the most of the Gabba last year, but this year, surely they do. Big one here, the MCG Hoodoo is gone now. This has been on their tails for where well, you'd have to say the past six years. It's been the past seven years, but in that seventh year, it did start. So you got to say past six years has really been on their on their tails and, and something they really want to take out. Uh, and they do have great experience and great young talent. They really do have great experience and great young talent. So bringing in Real Ashcroft is obviously a massive benefit for Brisbane. Now, he was picked two. He was matched bid from North Melbourne. And he's going to really offer a lot for Brisbane as well. I feel like he can his, his ability to impact the scoreboard at times is really good. But obviously, a very classy midfielder who can damage the scoreboard and a really damaging player who can get tons of the footy. He's not... I mean, he can be half of a Lockie Neal type, but he's also very different to Lockie Neal as well in his ways. Uh, he's a fantastic player, Will Ashcroft. They got the bid on him quite easily as well. And yeah, him heading up to the Gab is a really big positive. Jasper Fletcher being another one that um, heads up to Brisbane. Another match bid did come earlier than expected. But in the end, he's going to be a real big positive as well for Brisbane. Another midfielder. Um, who again can have that real dynamite explosion kind of um, type to himself. Such a brilliant player as well. Brisbane, very lucky to have both Ashcroft and Fletcher. They really did nail the draft in a great way. Getting Jack Gunston also does add a bit more of um, a, another aspect of the forward line. Now, obviously, McStay does go out to Collingwood. But having Jack Gunston coming in is another massive positive here for Brisbane. Uh, he, can, he can kick goals. He was really good for the Hawks throughout the season. Obviously, massive loss for the Hawks. Uh, but there is something going on between the Lions and the Hawks with trades and all that. But, yeah, um, Jack Gunston going to the Lions is a massive, massive, massive positive. Well, obviously, the biggest positive of the trade period, besides getting points and doing tons of pick swaps with other clubs, was, of course, getting Josh Dunkley through the door. He just adds another aspect to their midfield, a really strong midfielder, one of the, one of the Western Bulldogs' best. I believe he, he placed really highly in their best and fairest. In fact, I think he won the best and fairest for the Western Bulldogs in 2023, in 2020. Sorry, he's right in his prime and had a breakout the year this year. And last year wasn't uh, like 2021 wasn't really bad for Josh Dunkley either. So he is really good. And at the peak of the time, he's a brilliant add on to the Brisbane Lions. So they've really been able to win the trade period. So these are four of their real main ins for the trade and draft period in 2022. Uh, Will Ashcroft comes in, obviously, the father's son. Jasper Fletcher, Mash Bid comes in. Josh Dunkley comes in. Jack Gunston comes in. And to be completely honest, they didn't really have to give up a lot of price to get these. This was the win of the trade period. Now, you do also think about Geelong... Um, and Melbourne, you could also say that did have some big wins, especially Geelong. But I do feel like Brisbane still does beat that. So, I mean, Geelong did get in their Geelong Falcons products. But I feel like Brisbane still do edge them out. Now, in premiership races, I feel like it's going to be really tough next year. But I feel like Brisbane can crack the nut and really, really, really look at contending really hard next year uh, with, a, with a brilliant group of players. And these four add. They really do. The only route out that really went out throughout the season was, well, I mean, Tom Berry went out, but he was not really getting a senior game. The only one that really did went out that I can think of is Dan McStay, and you've literally replaced him with um, Jack Gunson. So it's, it's almost like this has worked out perfectly. Um, they did give picks away for Dunkley and all that, 
But pretty much, these three players were almost centrally free, not having to give away another play. It was more pick swaps, which the Lions were heavily involved in during the trade period anyway. So obviously, it's not like they've obviously won the premiership at this stage. They obviously haven't won the premiership right now because the season hasn't started and, and um, obviously we've got a whole season ahead of us. But I do feel like they are definitely up there in contention with some of the likes of Geelong and Melbourne and, and Collingwood. If Collingwood are up there again, if Carlton get up there, if Richmond get up there, there's some really stacked teams next year. And I feel like Brisbane are one of the front runners next year. I feel like it's really Brisbane, Geelong and Melbourne that can really put their names forward. And there'll be, there'll be a bunch of a pack of teams behind them as well. But I do feel like the time for Brisbane is right now. They're in probably their best list form they've ever been in. So you've got to utilise this time while you have it. And that's why I feel like they will contend for the Premiership next year. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys never miss another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye everyone. Flaming footy out.